Buongiorno, Yorobun! Annyeonghaseyo! 저는 이탈리아에서 온 미셸스타 셰프 파브리소 페라리 입니다. 제 친구, that you were thinking. Italy Fabri, you're Italian. So obvious. I'm a pasta guy. Yes. As you remember, pasta was at the first place of my top 10. Pasta. And today I want to show you at least this and how to properly call pasta. What's more Italian than pasta? Let's start with the main distinction. Long pasta. There's a ribbon pasta. Short pasta. And then there's a specialty pasta. Let's start with the long pasta. Spaghetti. What is the king of long pasta? Spaghetti, right. Let's start from here. It's so thin. And the name is Capellini. Tushimoeo Capelli. Mori in Italian. So they are thin as hair and cook in half a second. Then you go a little bit up on the scale and you find Fedelini. Funny name. You know, Fedele means uh, being trustful. I don't know why they are called like that. And it's a little bit more. And then we have finally spaghetti, which is a little bit thicker. We have spaghetti like this, which is the jontong way. It's just like a, a double of spaghetti. Ooh. And why this shape? When they create the spaghetto, it's very, very long, put on a wooden rack to dry like this. And you get super long. Bucatini. Because this is long, but it also have a micro hole inside here. I don't know if you can see that. I can see you now. Can you see me? That's the reason why the name, Bucatini. Buco is whole, small, thin, and with a hole inside. And you might think, oh, Fabri, why does there such a small hole? Because inside here gets some sauce. Linguine. Linguine doshimoeo. Hyo. Because it's flat and it's long, just like hyo. So this is linguina, but also this one is linguina. So same thing about the other spaghetti. We have this one and we have the double size. Fettuccine, fettuccia. In Italian, something wide and flat. But also this one is wide and flat. Tagliatella. The name is nest. The bird, when they are laying the eggs, they make a nice nest. And this is a little nest. That's a pappardella. Always ribbon pasta, but larger. It's another set. It's three tagliatelle wide. A lasagna. You are thinking, I always seen lasagna like a flat thing. Yes, that lasagna. This is lasagna riccia. Riccia means curly, like a curly mori. And you have these on the sides. Different mashi, anio, same. Farfalla, look at how cute is that. You know what does it mean, farfalla? Nabi. Color pasta, color like the Italian flag. How cute is this? And you give even different flavors. Chicken tea, tomato, and just a regular pasta. Very nice, kids also love that. Shalatielli. It's short, looks like fettuccina because it's a square, but it's thicker, the double thickness of a fettuccina. Vesuvio. Vesuvio is a volcano. And look at the shape. I don't know if you can see that. 
look inside here. It's like a little turning cup, keeping the sauce for collecting the match sauce and make it yummy. Imagine you put in your mouth just an explosion of sauce and pasta. Fusillo. This is one of my favorite ones. Inside all this twisting, how much sauce you can collect inside here. Yes! Also this one, which is tong mil. The whole grain, carayo, 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 and becomes this nice uh, shade of uh, brownish. And the texture is different, much more cholgit, cholgit. Penne. And what does it mean, penna? Feather. Birds. And you can see the whole stripes because it's penne rigate. Riga is stripe. Macaroni. This is the John Tong macaroni. The mac and cheese thing, the American guys, that's not properly John Tong. In any Italian brain, if you talk about macaroni, ping, this one. Mezze maniche. You know manica, what is that? This, this is a manica. This is a mezza manica. Pan pal. Rigatone. So the stripes are almost the same, but the double, kind of a double in size. But the name, totally different are the one that everyone associate with carbonara. Rigatoni alla carbonara, spaghetti alla carbonara. Pacchery! Yeah, I love pacchery. I was doing a lot in my restaurant because it's big. It's a lot of pasta, a lot of dough here. One of my favorite and Italian favorite pasta. Mezzi pacchery. You go to the doctor and the doctor tells you you have to cut down the carbohydrates. Okay, instead of eating 100 gram of pakari, I'm eating 100 gram of mezzi pakari. I cut it down in a half. Pizzoccheri. Pizzoccheri is not just the shape of pasta, it's not the fact that it's the only Italian pasta made with memilgaru. So delicious. It also has its real own way of doing that. With a lot of cheese, a lot of brown butter, a lot of young pechu and a lot of potatoes. Wow. Super good. Now I think I introduced almost everything here, all the shapes, but it's not finished yet because I'm a chef and I'm here to giving you useful tips to eat better and to choose better stuff. Look at the color, for example. Can you see that this is almost uh, white and this is kind of yellowish? Which is the best one for you? Have a guess. This one. This one, why? And usually the brighter one dried very, very slowly. This is industrial one. No time for waiting to nicely dry the pasta. So more time is always index of more quality. Remember that. And the sauce is very important to choose the pasta because when you use meaty or fish or something that has a very thick sauce, pieces of thing inside, you must prefer the short one because in all these nice holes, you can collect and you can have a lot of the pieces of the sauce. So this time I made a quick introduction of a very small percentage of all the Italian pasta existing in the whole world. Complicated. It's like a jungle of pasta. You have to find, you have to have your compass around to know where you're going and what you're buying. So wait for my next uh, Italian fresh pasta festa. Taome mannaio. Woo!